Hey. So, are you girls ready to go to work? I think Jessica's helping her mom set up. Are you helping your mom? Yes. She told me where it was. I'll just go over there and wait for her. Okay, all right, Kay. And Simone, let's see what you can do now. <laughs> um, is there any soda? Uh, yeah, there is some soda. It's back there in the cooler. Okay. I want one, too. Thirsty. Okay, hey, but don't you be long, okay? Because I'm still short-handed on volunteers this morning, and there's a lot more work that needs to be done before the carnival opens. We won't be long, Daddy. All right. Well, well, well. If Mr. Stan could see his favorite detention student now. You were in there with me most of the time, buddy. Yeah. But my mom always told me to watch out for low companions. But you've raised yourself mighty high, Mr. Chief of Police. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thanks, DC. Congratulations to you, too. The other tennis team's got another winning season ahead of them. Yeah, you know, we've got a lot of talented young kids. And they're lucky to have you as a coach, DC. Thanks a lot, sir. Listen, I have some time on my hands before I get on duty. Uh, can I help you do something? Can you help me do something? Well, let me see. <laughs> I don't think I heard you right. You heard me right. I'm getting married to Ethan Crane. You're Ethan Crane? That's right. So good day, officer, and goodbye. Carol, what are you doing? You're under arrest. Yes, sir. You're welcome. I'm telling you, it's perfect. Sheridan Crane is sitting not 20 feet from me, sipping coffee. <laughs> she doesn't have a clue that I am here. I know the risk, but I have got to do it now. I have a clear aim on her. Listen, I'm going to shoot Sheridan Crane right here. Grace, you look very pale and shaky. Eve, I'm fine. You know, I am a doctor as well as your friend. If there's something wrong, look, I'd like Eve, to help. I appreciate the concern, but really, I'm fine. Besides, what could go wrong on such a beautiful morning? family in harmony. Yep. <laughs> okay, very funny, Teresa. Ha ha ha. Now, tell me what your secret really is. That is my secret. Ethan Crane asked you to marry him. Not yet, but he will. Ugh. Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, you are crazy. I mean, besides the fact that you've never even met him, so he doesn't even know you exist, that magazine of yours says he's in love with that debutante Gwen Hotchkiss. I don't care. He's going to marry me. I guess you didn't hear me, officer. I'm Ethan Crane. I heard you. And what's your name? 
Gwen Hotchkiss. Okay, well, why don't you get your clothes on, because you're under arrest, too. What? You can't arrest us. <laughs> you saw the sign. It's illegal to light a fire at Doom Point. So I'll put it out. Try to get the handcuffs. Ethan, just... I'll take care of this, Gwen. Obviously, you're new in town, officer. I've lived in harmony all my life. Well, then you know my family, the Cranes. I know who you are. And despite what you think, the cranes are not above the law. I didn't say we... Look, get dressed. I'm taking you both in. Well, I guess I better cancel my flight to Paris. I told you, Sheridan Crane is seated in front of me. If I don't do it now, I may lose her again. Listen, I'm going to shoot her now. This is for you, Andre. No, 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 Mademoiselle Quinn, it is too much. Please. Thank you. Besides, this I should be thanking you. The first day I came in here, you've been so kind to me. I said you would find true love, and uh, I was right. Oui? Oui. <laughs> I just pray that nothing goes wrong again. I could just kill that little sister of mine for erasing my beeper message. Do you think it was... Don't say his name, Simone. I don't want anyone to hear, especially my bratty little sister. Jessica would make my life miserable if she found out who I have a crush on. Come on, let's go somewhere we can talk before our father set us to work. Sorry, big sister, but I am going to find out. <sighs> I appreciate your help, Sam, but, uh, doesn't Harmony's new police chief have more important things to do on his first day? I'm sorry, TC, what'd you say? Something wrong, Sam? I'm worried about Grace. Why is that? She's been acting strange lately. Tense, distant. She said she's all right, but... Anyway, I've asked Eve to talk to her. Well, if anybody can find out there's something wrong, it's my wife. I sure hope so. No! Grace? What is it? Grace. Grace, what's wrong? Grace! Grace, come on. Come on. Where's the little girl? What little girl? The girl I saw in the window. There's no little girl there. No, I saw her. I have to talk to her. No, you sit. I'll go and look for her. Please, find her. I'll be right back. There's no little girl out here. Some of the neighborhood kids must be playing tricks. Aha! Uh -huh. You're not marrying Ethan Crane. Why not? <laughs> you cannot marry a man you've never even met. And even if you did, he wouldn't marry you. What's that supposed to mean? 
Don't get all defensive. You think I'm not good enough for him. I didn't say that. I just meant that you come from two different worlds. Come on, your mother is his housekeeper. Your brother Luis is a cop. What's wrong with that? Nothing. All I'm saying is that the Cranes are like royalty here in Harmony. They don't associate with commoners like us, much less marry us. You're wrong, Whitney. Ethan Crane's going to marry me. I don't believe this. You know it was against the law to build a fire here. So he could have given us a fine. I don't like, what is his problem anyway? You are. So I mouthed off to him. It was a lot more than that. The second you mentioned who you were, he got this look on his face. I get a feeling he doesn't like the Cranes at all. Get it too. Lopez Fitzgerald. Hey, Luis, it's Sam. Where are you? Good point. Listen, I need to go over security with you for the carnival. I'm at the harbor. Yeah, I gotta stop by the station first. I'm booking Ethan Crane and his girlfriend. <laughs> You're booking Ethan Crane? For what? Lighting a fire at the dune. Forget it. What? Let him go, Luis. What is it, special treatment for the Cranes? Just do what I said. Beat it. What? You can go. You're not gonna arrest us? No, no, get the hell out of here. You try being a little more civil, officer. Don't push it, Crane. Ethan, thank you, officer. I'm gonna file a report about him. No, you're not. I don't like his attitude. Ethan, if you file a report, it's gonna get into the papers. You know how your family hates publicity. It still doesn't seem right. Hey, just drop it, okay? I have to get back to your place and shower and change. <laughs> I have to change before my flight. A whole week without you. Well, I tried to convince you to go. I know, but I have to finish those contracts from the phone. Oh, I know, I know. Well, Sheridan will be sorry that she missed you. So am I. I haven't seen Sheridan in ages. Stalk her friend, no, Princess Diana, to death! Is that what you want to do to my cousin Crane, too? Damn, she's gone, you... Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Just old Tabitha. Good morning, Dr. Russell. Good morning. What are you doing? Pruning. Pruning. And why are you pruning the Bennett's hedge? Well, I've just been neighborly. Well, how long have you been out here? Well, it seems like quite a while, but uh, <laughs> my memory is not what it used to be. Did you happen to see a little girl? You mean one of Grace's girls? No, a, a little girl. Oh, can't say I have. All right. Have a nice day, Dr. Russell. Toadstools and hemlock. Moon on the wane. Magic and mayhem. Terror and pain. That little brat has finally arrived. I know you've been here, and I'm going to get you. <laughs> I'd give anything to find out who sent me that beaver message. I know who you hope sent it, Miguel. He is so sexy. I've got to find some way to get Miguel to fall in love with me. He'd have to be out of his mind. Oh, thank you, Miguel. I was wondering when you were gonna get here. I'm sorry I'm late. I applied for a summer job on one of the fishing boats. It looks good. Oh, Miguel, that's wonderful, sweetie. Oh, that's great. You can put money away for your college fund now. I wanted to give the money to you, Mama. No. But I want to help out at home. 
I mean, you work so hard. I don't mind working. And besides, the Cranes are very nice to me. Louise hates it that you work for them. <sighs> Louise, he needs to let go of the past. Nothing was proved. That's what I tell him. He doesn't listen. I love your brother, but sometimes I think... Sometimes I think Luis looks for trouble. He's gonna find it with Teresa. What now? Uh, you got her a summer job at the Burger Hut. At the Burger Hut? Your sister Teresa, does she know? Not yet. <sighs> More trouble. <laughs> Where did you suddenly get this crazy idea that you were gonna marry Ethan Crane? I had a dream last night. I dreamt Ethan came to my house. That's it. <laughs> You're gonna marry the son of the richest man in town because of a dream? My dream was so real, Whitney. I knew once he knocked on my front door, my life was gonna change forever. Yeah, your life would change, all right. Your brother Luis would probably lock you in the attic if a crane showed up wanting to marry his sister. Oh, I forgot about Luis. He hates the cranes. <laughs> Sam, what the hell's going on? Why didn't you tell me not to arrest Ethan Crane? Calm down, Luis. Don't tell me our new chief of police is sold out to the Cranes. I still can't believe that stupid cop was going to arrest us. Oh, just forget it. It's obvious he just hates the Cranes. Why? My family's done a lot for this town. Brought jobs, contributed to local charities. I mean, we even paid for the new police cars. Well, still, I don't think the Cranes made their billions without rufflings and feathers. How could our business dealings affect a small-time cop? I don't know. But what I do know is that I am going to Paris in a few hours. Do you really want to spend what little time we have left arguing over that cop? Or do you want to take a shower together? Hmm. Let me think. How may I help you today? Do you have any books on Italian sports cars? I'm looking for one for my boy. I will check the computer. Okay. We do have a book on Italian sports cars in stock. Was it okay? Yes, fine, I'll take it. The princess and you were very happy there. We were. The next day she rejoined Dodi on his yacht, and that was the last time I saw her. I'm so sorry. I know you and the princess were very close. Connected the moment we met. With all that she had, there was something about her that seemed so sad. Diana wanted more than anything to find true love. I understood that yearning. She was so close to finding it, too. If only the paparazzis hadn't hounded her that night, she'd still be alive. She's at the bookstore across the street. Don't worry, this time she won't get away. Something wrong? I don't know. I just felt like someone walked over my grave. You looked everywhere? Yes. God, your pulse is racing. And you didn't see her? No. Well, I'm gonna go look. No, you're gonna sit here until your pulse gets down to normal. Eve, she could be hiding. 
Grace, I didn't see a little girl, and neither did your next door neighbor. My next door neighbor? I found Tabitha in your hedges. Well, what was she doing there? Well, she said she was pruning, but I didn't see any garden tools. Do you find her a bit strange? Oh, yeah, she's a little eccentric. But at least she isn't seeing little girls in her window that aren't even there. I mean, Eve, what is happening to me? Grace, I think you're under a lot of stress. I mean, you do have a lot on your plate. You have your family and running the store and now carnival chairperson. You think that's what it is? I'm sure of it. But still, that little girl seems so real. Oh, she was real, all right, Grace. Jessica? Where did that little mutant go? There she is. What are you up to? Me? I'm painting a poster for the carnival. If you say anything about what you just heard... You mean about you having the hots for Miguel? If you tell him, like you'd care about a cow like you? Just keep your stupid mouth shut. Do you hear me? Ow! I don't say anything. You better not. I won't have to say anything. I'll be right back. All right. You don't know how lucky you are to have a sister like Whitney. Whitney is not perfect. I trade her for the sister from hell that I have. Oh my God. He is so hot. He's got to be mine. Are you accusing me of giving special treatment to the cranes? Well, why'd you ask me out to arrest Ethan Crane? He lit a fire on the beach. It's against the law. If it would have been anybody else, you would have given the fine or a warning. No, I would have. No, you know damn well you would have. Now, listen, I know your feelings about the cranes, but like it or not, they have a lot of influence in this town. They can make your life hell. I'm not afraid of them. And neither am I. I'm just saying, when it comes to the cranes, it's wiser to choose your battles. This one isn't worth fighting. Okay. If I ever catch a crane seriously breaking the law, I'm not backing down. And I'll support you. Now take a break. We'll go over security later. Hey. There was a time that you felt the same way as Luis about the cranes. Have you mellowed in your old age? Or are you still hating? Let's get back to work. Oh, just let it go, Ethan. But why does that cop have a problem with my family? He doesn't even know us. Ethan, sometimes people attack what they don't know. I mean, it's not like the average person in Harmony has any day-to-day -day connection with your family. I mean, your mother is not baking cakes for the local bake sale, and your father's not going bowling with them. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Look, and they hardly know anything about you. I mean, you hardly spend any time here, in boarding schools and in summers in Europe. I know where this is heading. That talk you gave me on the beach about me getting to know my hometown. Well, you're out of law school now, in Harmony for Good, right? Yes. So, go out and explore. And it might be fun for us to go to the local hamburger joint every now and then instead of the country club. You and me, perched on stools, eating greasy hamburgers. <laughs> Can you picture that? I can picture a lot of things. You and me, a house, family. Ethan, I know that you hardly spent any time with your family growing up. That is why it's so important that you go out there and you meet ordinary, everyday people with regular, stable family lives. Don't be like that cop and judge things without knowing both sides. You should have been Laura Gwynn, not me. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I can't miss my plane. Don't worry, you'll be in Paris tonight. But right now... <gasps> you're all mine. Yeah, there's a book you wanted. Thank you, Michelle. I haven't been able to go in this tunnel since the accident. 
The memory of it must be very painful for you. There's another reason. I know it might sound crazy, but sometimes I feel that I might die in this tunnel too. I don't even think that. No, the paparazzi are relentless when it comes to hunting celebrities. I mean, they, they hunted Diana, they hounded her to her death, and our lives are so similar. Nothing like that will ever happen to you. I'm going to take this too. Thank you. Well, wow. it's confirmed. Our spy said that Sheridan Crane does have a new boyfriend. All right. When she get out of the bookstore, we follow her and get a picture of her and her new lover, and we'll sell it for a fortune. But her family pays all the tabloids not to print any scandal about her. No, no, no. An Australian paper whose uh, publisher hates the Crane. He's ready to pay anything to get something juicy about them. And believe me, there is a lot. So far, the cranes managed to keep their secrets. <laughs> this is about to change. Good night. Hey, she's leaving. Well, we better get to the carnival. I think you should rest, Grace. Eve, the carnival starts tomorrow, and I am chairperson. The carnival is not as important as your health. We'll go to my office. I'll run a few tests. I am fine, Dr. Russell. I'm concerned as your friend, too, Grace. Um, this little girl... Look, there was no little girl. And how do you explain what you saw? I didn't get much sleep last night. I hadn't had anything to eat yet. My mind was just playing tricks on me. This image of a little girl, have you seen it before? Wake up, Grace. Who's there? Had I seen her before? No. Grace, I know you have no memory of the first 20 years of your life, but is it possible that this little girl is some part of your past? You know, if she is, I don't remember. Anyway, I'm more interested in the future. That little girl is going to have a big impact on your future, Grace. You and your entire family. Beware. <laughs> he is so gorgeous. I have to find out if he sent me that Google message. I can remember when you hardly noticed him except as a friend. What changed? His voice, his body. I mean, look at those pecs. That is so superficial. <laughs> well, he's a nice guy too, all right? I will kill Jessica if she says anything. But I think I scared her into keeping her mouth shut. I don't think so. her. Hey, bro. You look kind of grim. You must have talked to Teresa about that summer job. No, not yet. I still got something else to deal with. I bet you'd be happy about my dream. It's just that you set your sights so high. Marrying some rich guy, wearing expensive clothes. It's not just for me. I want to be rich so my mom doesn't have to work so hard. So my girl can go to college. So I can tell Louise I told you so. You dream about playing tennis at Wimbledon, Whitney. And I believe your dream will come true. Oh, Teresa. Friends should believe in each other's dreams. I just don't want to see you hurt. I won't be. I mean, why this thing with Ethan Crane? You never even met him. 
He could be a horrible person. No. My mother said he's wonderful. He's her favorite of all the cranes. He wasn't home much, but when he was, Mama said he was always very kind to her. She said he made her laugh. But there was something sad about him. Lonely. Hearing that just made me love him more. You and your mother like the cranes, so why does Luis hate him? Some old grudge from the past. I don't know and I don't care. My future is with Ethan. You're gonna look up Sheridan, right, when you get to Paris? Check out the new boyfriend for me? I told you I would. Hey, when was this taken? Uh, a few years ago, just before I went to law school and Sheridan went off to Europe. She looks a lot more like your older sister than she does your aunt. Well, she's only a few years older than I am. I guess that's why we're so close growing up. So why are you so worried about this new boyfriend of hers? Well, Sheridan always fell in love too easily. Mm. I don't want her to get hurt again. Mm. You're very sweet. Mm. <laughs> Come on, get dressed. Ask the chauffeur to bring the car around. I'm driving you to the airport. Mm, no, nope. you're only taking me part way. So go get your car. We have to make a stop first. Where? It's a surprise. over there. I gotta talk to her about some tickets, okay? She's not fine. Something's bothering her. I wish I knew what it was. Eve, do you know what it is? If you know what it is, you gotta tell me. What's Teresa anyway? I gotta talk to her about that summer job. I still can't picture her working at the Burger Hut. Oh, she will. Just tell my little sister got her head out of the clouds. Well, here we go. You want us to paint? Well, we needed a sign painted. We just finished setting up the chairs. And you did a wonderful job. That's why I'm sure you can handle this. But I'm wearing my new outfit. Well, I'm sure we can find some smocks around here somewhere. I need that done in one hour. Well, I guess we better get started. Teresa, what are you doing? Taking a break. You wouldn't find Gwen Hotchkiss painting in that dress, would you? She doesn't have to paint. She's rich. I'm going to be rich one day, too. And I'll have a designer dress just like hers. Better. You and your dreams, Teresa. I'm going to make them come true. That's why I can't let anything happen to this outfit. I don't get the connection. I want to wear this the first time Ethan sees me. And that's why he's going to fall in love with you. One of the many reasons. Carnival. This is your surprise. It's a local event. Most of Harmony is going to be here. <sighs> I get it. This is all part of your plan for me to meet the locals. And I'm sure that you will know everybody by the time I get back. <sighs> well, I'm off to Paris. I love you. I'll miss you. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too. Now go, meet the neighbors. Well, what if they don't want to meet me? Well, go find out. There's no telling what wonderful adventures await you in Harmony. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Here goes nothing. <sighs> Society is my little sister dreaming about these days. Louise. Ethan Crane. Sheridan Crane is traveling west, high speed in a BMW down Quai d'Anjou. Tail her. Let's go. No, I won't let you do to me what you did to Diana. Cards of darkness, trouble and woe. Turn over, turn over, reveal what you know. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Yes, I like that. That nasty little girl thinks she's going to beat me. Well, she's wrong. She's not going to beat old Tabitha. Oh, no, not this time. What are you looking at? You don't believe I can beat her? Hmm? Well, you're wrong. Old Tabitha's got something very special up her sleeve this time. Very special and very powerful. <laughs> oh, yes, old Tabitha's full of surprises. <laughs> it's her. been expecting you. You will not win. <laughs> Guess again, bright eyes. I'm ready for battle, and this time I will not lose. Will not steal their souls this time. <laughs> Try and stop me. I will. No, you won't. See this card? This card means death, and death is coming, and there's no way you can stop it. You will not win. Their souls are mine. Do you hear? Mine! Gone! I shall be back. And I'll be ready. And this time I'll win. Oh, yes, I will. Their souls will be mine.